Oh boy. Hello. What? Ah, uh, that chime. Oh! Isn't it one of the best versions of the Konami logo? Absolutely. Hello, YouTube. Hey, friends. So, I asked Matt, hey, Matt, what do you want to play? I like Castlevania. And Let's Ma do that Matt, before the Halloween month. <laughs> and Matt said, all those Bloodborne and Souls games are way too easy. Ah. I need a real challenge. They're for literal crying babies. So we here we are playing a classic Castlevania game. We have to go kill a, a Dracula's niece, um, you, 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 Elizabeth Bartley. So apparently in the Japanese version, Eric's face is more feminine. Much. Much more feminine. Yeah. Because Konami has spent a decade trying desperately to peddle their boyish games to girls. They have. Now, something interesting about a Castlevania uh, 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 Bloodlines here, which yes, is what we are playing, folks, is um, no, is is um, uh, this title screen that you, you see here changed for the uh, Japanese version because it uh, because the uh, series could not include references to blood at the time, so it was retitled uh, uh, Castlevania. Uh, new, uh, new generation. That was that was the the European version, actually. S sorry, thank you. And the um, and for that um, version, the uh, 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 this sea of blood is apparently totally uh, uh, what uh, are, removed. What are our and options? And the drip is off. For our options. Do you want to play it on easy? <clears throat> I mean, even normal doesn't technically get us a true ending, so. Easy. Easy should be in quotation marks. Should we? Okay, fix the other stuff. How many lives can we get? Five? We, we, we can jack it to five. And then... Oh god, this is going to be really uh, dissatisfying to uh, watch if we, uh, if, if we uh, look back on this and, and do it on, on easy. Okay, to tell you what. I've pretty much memorized the uh, first half of the game because I think this game has eight stages, although I uh, can't recall fully. And uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, one through four, I can play pretty well. Knock off on a on a normal difficulty because that's what what I've been practicing on. So let's do normal, and then uh, and then w w when we if come if yeah okay then, um, then there are uh, passwords so and then uh, true. And then when we come back to this next time, the final stage is in the game. I'm sure that so, I can. So yeah. Out. So if if we need to go to on easy mode, we can always like pick up where we left off with a password. If we absolutely need to. Yes. Yeah. So All right. I will try to do this right. But, but yes, I am jacking these lives up up up, up to the max. Absolutely. No question. Right, Matt, do you want to use the Konami code to enable expert mode? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'd love to, except I absolutely wouldn't. Let's do it on normal thing. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, now, um, Eric, something interesting is uh, this uh, game is loosely based off of the uh, uh, off of the uh, Bram Stoker novel, which means that we have uh, Jonathan Morris and Mr. Eric Lacard here mean, as playable characters. I mean, the whole franchise is loosely based on the Bram Stoker novel, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, to be entirely <laughs> fair, yes, but a little bit more closely here with... Um, yes, John Morris is, is an actual character from the story, right? Right? Yes, he is. Now, Eric Lagarde is not, though, as far as I know. I can't recall, which is kind of uh, disappointing, because I I actually own and have read a, I think, a, a, a fair bit of I, th I think uh, uh, Eric Lagarde was a, an original character. Uh, possibly. They, they needed somebody named Eric to appe appease me. Of course! Now, uh, John Morris is fine. I've got no issue with him, but I prefer playing as Eric. So we're going to go with It this. is satisfying to jump up off that spear, isn't it? Yes, god yes. I like that in this game you like basically travel the world and they really played around with like architecture and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Plus they take um, a ton of uh, liberties with, with uh, what you would consider to be a horror themed monster for uh, for some of these, uh, yeah, these uh, enemies. It's... Oh look at how cool he is! They said, you know, it was a nightmare trying to program these graphics, so it must be a horror-themed monster. Right, right. Okay. How good is this soundtrack, by the way? Slaps. It absolutely fucking slaps. Uh, spe uh, specifically for the... Um... Oh, look at that gore! Um, uh, specifically for the uh, background music for stage two, which we will be hearing soon, which is the uh, Sinking Old Sanctuary. Oh, yeah. And is probably the best track in this whole game. 
But first, we gotta get through one. So this, I think it was this track, though. Um, I can't remember. One of the original tracks in this game, there was a really nice rendition of it on the Portrait of Ruin. Mm -hmm. Uh, 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 look at that splatter, it's fantastic. Uh, I know. Oh, um, they reverted the zombies too. Right, the European version of Dream Zombies. Mm. I bet that it did, yes. That does not say surprise me too much. Yeah, that is... No, no, this song. No, is... no wall meet here. But just a second, folks, if you power up the, uh, your, uh, if your uh, jump with the uh, down... Stop down touching button. yourself, Eric. Then you can get that that amazing. Well, I, I, super I, was, jump. I didn't mean the character. No, no. no. <laughs> I was talking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that super jump is one of the most exciting things in the game. I uh, I, I cannot blame you, honestly. So this eye here is an asshole. Um. Well, what I was gonna say is, uh, it actually appears in this area in up uh, in uh, Castlevania Chronicles, mm. where you you know, which is a remake of Castlevania One. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I always loved how they reimagined this first, like, section of the castle yeah. in different games. And how cool are these mermen? Like, the it's, design? It's a really good design. But watch for the goblin. Floating goblin. There you go, that's what you get for floating around. Now, um, now uh, one of the uh, common complaints of, um, of uh, Super Castlevania 4 is that the uh, whip is too good, which we have uh, heard quite a few times. I mean, for, for some people, they just say, oh, this game you can actually beat. <laughs> yeah, well, well, uh, so well, well, that too. For some people's complaints, or other people's uh, salvation, I guess. Yeah, um, er Eric's spear is great uh, because you can do the, uh, because you can uh, dive with it in the air. Uh, uh, the range is really uh, good, up. The uh, range is good, plus you can twirl side to side. Oh, I did not even know how to, that I, you could do that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh. Uh, uh, I just hold down that uh, right. Right. Yep. Okay. We, that... uh, which is nice for uh, coverage around you. Yeah. yeah. That, that would have been helpful when I was trying to play this game. Yeah. And spamming safe states. Now, uh, with all that being said, um, even with all these great tools at, uh, at uh, Eric's uh, 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 disposal, I still find myself using the uh, sub weapons uh, quite a lot. Uh, not in uh, stage one very much because it's still uh, uh, quite easy here. How freaky is this monster? But like, in general, it's like it's, hey, a, it's a good one. Let's have a big like wolf monster. And it's like you know what? How about we strip the skin off of his torso? Yeah, just to make him more gruesome. That glass, by the way, can absolutely uh, hit you. So don't fuck around. I say as I fuck around and almost uh, 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 get hit, yes. So, how do you even avoid all those particles? Oh, um, the uh, really thick ones. Oh, it's so okay, hard to I notice which, but yeah, them. yeah. They do a good job of blending that you in. Know, making this, uh, this Oh, threat. and that is... And then you get to go in for the uh, finishing blow. hoo -ah! Well, at least the game gives you that. There yes. are other... Castlevania games like Rondo of Blood, where it's the monster that tr that gives you one finishing last finishing blow before it dies. This whole franchise is is a finishing blow. <laughs> is oftentimes uh, one to give you one last blow. Yes, this is one of the coolest things. Oh here. yeah, when you get to power up your weapons. Yeah. Um, now uh, there's a standard stage one, two, and uh, three for your weapons, just like when you're using a a, a, a Belmont. But uh, there's in in, in uh, this game the hidden stage four. Where your um, uh, spear, in, in, in uh, this case, is uh, covered in, in, in a holy flame. But isn't it technically like a sub weapon in itself, in a way? Uh, 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 not only is there that, uh, but. Like uh, crack in the wall. Sorry, I will go back down. Oh, you could go back down. Go back That's... down. Damn it! I really hope Damn! This... No! Damn it! No! No, so... no, I can't show the sub weapon! <laughs> we will have opportunities we... to do that. We will have chances, no worries. But yes, um. Uh, uh, when you get the uh, secret stage four to your weapon, uh, 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 which I had just there, uh, your sub weapon basically turns into a uh, item crash, just like um, right, uh, symphony, Rondo, uh, 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 Rondo and, and, and uh, symphony. Yes. Oh, uh, so the, the composer for this game, this was her first Castlevania, as I recall, yes. and then she yeah. did symphony. Really? Yeah. Okay. So it's... I thought it was a a a, 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 a different a, a, a composer for a symphony, but I... It's the same as this game. Gotcha, but, yeah. Um... And... 
So nice to have a Genesis soundtrack that's got that nice synth and not like yep. super twangy, like buzzing bass that a lot of lesser composers yeah. had. Uh, one thing that uh, th uh, that I stuck out to me right away is um, is the fact that uh, this game do uh, does make use of the um, shall we say uh, 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 unique uh, quirks about the uh, Genesis uh, sound uh, pretty well. The um, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, uh, as you pointed out, the very uh, synthy melodies and the good bass that the uh, sound chip is uh, known for is uh, brought out to a full vector. I do like it quite a lot. Ah, get, <laughs> get fucked. You know. Also, something worth noting, which is really cool, is 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 that uh, you have your standard uh, like a sub weapon with uh, uh, with the uh, single tap. Ah, uh, yes. Hey, uh, but uh, uh, but you can hold up as you use it for an alternate uh, uh, sub weapon. Right. Yeah. So it's you know, it's nice that they finally started like making use of the extra buttons. Yes. Um, I I had four health. They should like give you an extra life if you have full health and you pick up both me. God, I love it. That would be so. No, don't, no, don't stop moving. Oh, that well, was an extra life in, oh, in, no. in that candle. Ah, uh, uh, it's fine. Well, it's a Castlevania. Everything is a gamble. I forgot. You. About it. You uh, enter an area. You're pretty much rolling the bones. <laughs> Well done. Uh, by the way, uh, this track uh, that's playing now, you will probably uh, uh, recall, is a remix off of the uh, Final Boss theme for one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, which just, I was like, wait a second, is that supposed to be a boss? Yeah. No, the, the, the oh, snake, oh. I was like... Oh, the uh, snake dragon, yes. Like, why are we hearing this? Is that a boss? <laughs> nope, here's a boss. And even he's barely I, I, a uh, boss, to be honest with I you. Mean, I say as I this is the like this is the big armor dude like they they became standard they were standard enemies pretty much I mean this one obviously behaves in unique ways but yeah now this track um specifically uh, this part that's playing now always stands out to me as, uh, as a, a shining force track uh, uh, because it's uh, using the uh, same uh, tone and um, mm. I I I. I I don't know where to put it, but it obviously just uh, hits the same notes. Also, I'm right in the corner here. Yeah. That's fine. He's like, he's like I know where you can put it. That's uh, that's uh, not so bad because even if I get if I get stuck in in, in a. Uh, <laughs> okay, now it's kind of funny. Now it's kind of sad, honestly. Now it's like this this a flesh wound. <laughs> <laughs> you got no arms. Yes, I do. <laughs> I went to see um, mm -hmm. uh, the Holy Grail on the big screen a couple oh, weeks ago. Oh, you did? Nice. Right on. Uh, uh, perfect timing. <laughs> yep. Now, um, that... Oh, oh boy. That was the easy part. Um, as I was trying to say back there, even if you get stuck in, in, in a uh, DPS race with him, it's not that bad. Mm -hmm. First boss ain't too tricky. Now, Greece, the Atlanta Shrine. This track here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Which there is... you go. Okay, show us your fancy weapon. Oh! Look at how long that lingers! I know. You, uh, you get a bunch of that. Uh, 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 now the uh, sinking old, old, old uh, sanctuary track here. Um, don't you fucking do it. It is, um, is yes, I, I believe also the uh, track that you mentioned that was uh, remixed for uh, Portrait. Yes. Uh, no, I think it was actually the first level that was remixed for Portrait. This one might have been too, I don't know, but... I think the, uh, this also was, yeah. Um, but man, what? Like, they were like, you know, we don't have Mode 7 here, so let's just do what we can with yeah. all these crazy effects. And they do well enough. Oh yeah, absolutely. Right, yeah. Well, not to mention that beautiful sunset. Oh, or sunrise, look, and then transition day. straight to this. Nighttime, and you know, forced vertical scrolling. Yeah. Everybody loves forced vertical scrolling. Ah, it sounds so bad. It, it uh, could be worse. Changing the palette to blue as you go. That was a trick that was used in Sonic One to do those water stages. Really? Yeah, they. It was like they just changed the palette. They didn't have to like have a second set of sprites or anything. So. Right, okay. Saved, saved themselves uh, a lot of resources that way. 
Back in the days when they were like, okay, on this scan line of the television, we're gonna make the processor do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now it's like only so much one scan. Only so much one can do when you're working with AI Sega Genesis. Now it's like on this refresh, we're gonna do like a hundred times more stuff than the. <laughs> yeah. PlayStation Four does what Sega Genesis don't. Sony does what the what the Nintendo. Now, an interesting thing about this uh, uh, this uh, mini boss here is he doesn't uh, is he does not attack you in in the traditional way, but as you will notice from uh, below me, his sole goal is just to try to uh, drown you. Oh, you know yeah. what? I forgot about that. Yeah. Too bad my DPS is too good. Yay, we killed Prince of Persia. Hell yeah. Get fucked, dead franchise. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so, um, something that I found really funny about um, a certain enemy in Rondo of Blood and Symphony of the Night is there is a, there is a evil priest in Castlevania named Shaft. There, there is. Like, <laughs> like... <laughs> I, when I hear Shaft, you know, yeah, I yeah. don't think evil priest resurrecting Dracula. I think he's a bad mother. Shut your mouth. I I I am on the uh, same line with uh, you there. I um, don't really go to the uh, Castlevania character. Shaft. Like that. Now uh, now these are armors here. Oh, shoot, uh, these armors here. Uh, oh. They, um, oh. Uh, I, it was it was about to happen eventually. Um, you uh, uh, you have to go with the opposite uh, strategies for here uh, 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 because the uh, first armor um, forces you to um, uh, get in close to uh, avoid the mace as you probably saw there. Whereas, oh come on! Uh, whereas um, the uh, second armor uh, uh, hits you closer with the axe, so you have to know what you're gonna go up against uh, beforehand and alternate. But if you do that, it's uh, not so bad. Back when games made you think and like yeah. strategize. Yeah. Think and strategize. Once upon a time, we didn't have no save points. What? Okay, no, I'm fine. Getting close, there we go. That is a silly sound. It is. It, wah, wah, wah. it sounds like an alarm or something. <laughs> it's the self-destruct system. That is a ton of damage, though, if he hits you. Yeah, they're pretty freaking... There are some hardy boys. Not to be confused with with, uh, uh, with the uh, rest of us. With what? The uh, hardy boys. As in, as in the rest of us. The... <laughs> I like that his axe gets stuck, though. Yeah. It's, it's uh, quite good. The Hardly Boys. One of the uh, few chances that you get to actually do a more than oh, one hit at two, once. Two more hits, come on. I think. Yeehaw! Unless, unless he's one of those enemies where it's like he's at zero, but you stop to hit him one more time. Yeah. Not so bad, not so bad. I'm, I'm uh, doing alright, so. Yeah. More vertical scrolling, except this is a little bit more forgiving. Well, actually, both parts are uh, not too hard. Also. I mean, this game. I mean, it's the second stage. Yeah. Like, yeah. if if it was too impossible, you know, you may as well like ask you to insert a friggin' coin. Don't make any mistakes, though. This will get hard. Yeah, you know, this is the only part of Castlevania where the Medusa heads actually make sense, since mm. we're in Greece. Greece, yeah, yeah, absolutely. The other ones are immigrants. That's right. The other ones are. Uh... Uh, the other ones are uh, just uh, just old friends of a uh, Dracula uh, yeah. uh, that he uh, brought in. Yeah. They brought him some Sublaki and some heroes, and he uh, let them right in. I don't know. That, that's all I know about Greek culture is their food and. That's um, that's about enough. And uh, how they drink their sambuca. Right. Which they mix with water.
Check oh, out this, this part. amazing <laughs> stuff here. Now I got stuck here for uh, <laughs> like for about like a 30 seconds or so, going like, "What's going on here? What do I do? Wait a second, it's shaking." Oh, uh, maybe I should just give her a quick old poke. <laughs> I I love you know, a, 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 that a crash sound. There. If you give a lady a quick old poke and her head falls off, you're doing something wrong. You. <laughs> That's right. Worst first date ever. Uh, these guys are more vicious too than they are in the average Castlevania game. That's true. Like they're a little more aggressive. But otherwise, and this son of a bitch. He otherwise, up on staples of the franchise. All of them. Same thing here. Just give it. There you go. Not so bad. Take that, culture. <laughs> None must stand in my path towards track. Oh. Fuck! There, uh, there's the alt for the holy water. Oh. Really, really that erratic is, path. That is, uh... But it's like, it, it covers quite the area. Oh, yes. It, it uh, should, because it uh, costs me, um... Uh, four, uh, MP. Mm. But I guess you can't... Can't spam holy water on death this time, Matt. Nope. <laughs> that was legendary. Oh, I can't believe th uh, that uh, uh, that I uh, pulled that off, actually. <laughs> Son of a bitch. What a cheap bastard. Hey, Ninja Guy and Call, they want their cheap enemies back. Can you step downwards? You know, you know what I'm just gonna do, Eric. You know, he's just dead because now. just because he's such a little asshole, he yeah. deserves overkill. That's right. Oof, he deserves the full force of my of my item crash. The... Oh Fuck! no! I thought that it would sail over my head a bit. That's uh, that's okay. Nothing goes over my head. My reflexes are too quick. <laughs> I would catch it. I would catch it. <laughs> I uh, watched the uh, Marvel movies uh, way, o uh, uh, way o out of order, actually, so I didn't uh, know about uh, that uh, gag until mm. quite a while later. I didn't even realize it was a Marvel movie, to be honest, when it came out. I was like, oh, Guardians of the Galaxy looks like a cool little, like... This is, oh, careful. Oh. Watch my Matt, Matt just bit. lost the health point in real life. I did. I, I did. That's a How come you fuckers don't drown, huh? They're already dead. They're already. Oh my, one more shit. I guess, uh. Eric Lacard has the swimming skills of Sub Zero. He does. Which is to say, it's fucking nothing. He just falls to the bottom. He has he has such high body density that he has like no buoyancy whatsoever. He just drops to the bottom. One of the most infamous uh, uh, gifts that I've still ever seen uh, was um, uh, that fantastic scene in in um, in, in, uh, in, in the uh, Scorpion game. Uh, where he just falls off the cliff and does the amazing overdramatic <laughs> It is still such a fun time. Now this fella here, you can He's... smack his body all that you want, but the only thing that's going to damage him is that a crystal core on his head. So here, you, you've just got to bring him down there to a earth a bit. Yeah, you gotta... I mean, he, you know... Watch out for his grabby hand, he's gonna get you. <sighs> He's next time, next chisel. time he wants to get a chisel core, he should get a gym membership. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Okay, now we can do some damage. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> I love how he cl clutches his eye. He's like, "Ow, that hurts." Yeah. Me now. Oh, I'm about to get a lot meaner. You're fucking dead. <laughs> so, like, is he bleeding rocks? 
as he's falling down like that, he should do like a big old I thumbs know. up. Yeah. <laughs> How do you drown in something with your hand up and not do the a thumbs up? Yeah. Let's. It's so silly. Da -da -da -da. Wait, Alrighty. beach. King Dodongo. 